I have been encouraged by Erian SG from the Bryce forum at uh, das3d.com to have a look at the shell extrude command in Wings 3D. So let's do that. Uh, it seems to work quite well, and so I've uh, just had a little bit of a test of it now. So I'll start, right click, and select Cube from the context sensitive menu. I'll use the face selector here, press I to select all the identical faces, right click and inset those faces. I hold the control key down and take that inset down to 50%. Right left click to set that and then I'm going to, uh, the middle mouse button allows me to rotate it and zoom in and out if I wish. Um, what was I going to do? Oh yes, right click and on the context sensitive menu intrude and while holding the control key down intrude to the point where it's uh, 0.5 on the uh, the readout on the top left there and uh, what you can see is that the, the faces have all joined together. At this point I need to select the entire object right click and clean up and that allows me to uh, to get over the any any of these uh, points where they've joined together so now I've just got this uh, this basic shape with a, with a hole in the middle should make it a bit more interesting I'll select the entire shape then go to selecting the uh, the edge selection right click and bevel and so uh, I'll hold the control key down so I can do it in various steps and just bevel 0.1 and at this point now I'm going to take advantage of this shell extrude so I'll click on that and select normal and then holding the control key down still take it out 0.1 so right the difference between extrude and shell extrude is that it generates a, a new object from the extruded port point so where the bevels were it's now split off into a new object so if I now press space and deselect everything and then go to the object selection tool you can see by the area that's lit up green that we've got two objects so I'm going to get the original object here which it was extruded from and delete that and that leaves me with the extruded shell so okay that looks fine now I suppose but uh, before I send it to Bryce I'm going to smooth it down so press smooth and smooth again so that's just pressing the S key as a shortcut and that'll give me a more complicated shape or at least a smoother shape so it'll it'll render more nicely I'll smooth it once more at the risk of uh, making something that's going to be too large so it was quite interesting at this point uh, file export and I'll do it as a wavefront.obj format which means it'll go into Bryce so it'll be all smoothed out so this is a uh, new shell cube that's my object that I've just got to wait for it to export. There's this barrel on the bottom here, and it's usually this last little bit that takes some time. Okay, and I'll go into a Bryce scene now and go File, Import Object. And there's my object to import. I should have a little dialog here. Check that, and you can see it's gone through its import. Uh, I'm just going to enlarge that object now I'm using the overhead view and uh, find some way to bury it in my scene. It's, it seems not really important, it's just the fact that uh, I wanted something that I could quickly render it in so and, and, and something that's going to light it and show off the complexity of the model I suppose is also key here so I'm going to choose a material for this I'll go into the material library I'm going to use one of these Trepan Hall metals uh, this one which is a sort of concrete material and because it has no reflection at the moment if you want to make it look more metallic you can do that um, we'll keep it simple so anyway that's the uh, completed render I should point out that this is uh, one of Horo's HDRI backdrops that I've used in this scene and uh, and there's a sort of a, a ground plane that uh, matches up with that backdrop to uh, to complete the illusion that this is inside this environment the the cube itself as you can see is, uh, is, is quite an interesting shape it looks like something made that's made out of bone rather than concrete I don't know but uh, I think that's rather beside the point so anyway, that's the uh, the end of that brief uh, tutorial um, about the shell extrude uh, command in Wings 3D.